Hello friends, I hope you guys are doing amazing. We are here for another lesson on social emotional learning. Today's lesson will be on accidents. What does it mean if you do something on accident? Go ahead and think about that for a couple seconds. If you were to do something on accident, what does that mean? Go ahead and think and I'll let you guys share. Okay, go ahead and share. Good job. Yeah, you guys are right. When you do something on accident to someone, you're not meaning to do the action. For instance, if you were walking in a straight line and maybe you stepped on the person in front of you's foot, like their back ankle, you don't mean to do that. Maybe you were just walking a little too close. You stepped on their foot on accident. So when you do something on accident, what's the next thing that you do? Yes, you apologize. Good job, you guys. Because when we do things, something on accident, we're not meaning to do what we just did. So it's important to always apologize. So good job. You, you guys know all about accidents. So let's go ahead and begin our lesson. So now that we went over accidents, I have my friends Puppy and snail today and they are going to talk to you guys about a time when they had an accident so snail was going on his way to lunch and he was carrying his lunch tray and puppy was right behind him in line while snail was carrying his lunch plate to have lunch puppy was a little distracted and accidentally ran right into snail in the lunch line what do you think happened now? Yes, you're right. Snail dropped his lunch tray. Snail was super, super upset because he now has no lunch to eat. Puppy quickly apologized to Snail and said, Snail, I am so, so sorry that I accidentally ran into you. I was not paying attention and I was distracted by the shiny toy on the ground. I am so, so sorry. Snail quickly replied and said, it's okay, puppy. I accept your apology, but now I have no nothing to eat for lunch. So puppy offered to share his lunch with Snail because puppy wasn't paying attention. Snail accidentally dropped his lunch tray. See, accidents happen all the time, you guys. Even with Snail and Puppy, they have accidents too. Puppy accidentally ran into Snail, and that caused Snail to what? Yeah, lose his lunch because he dropped it on the ground. But what did Puppy do? Yes, Puppy quickly apologized and Puppy even offered Snail some of his lunch because he felt terrible for running into Snail. See, Puppy was still worried about Snail's feelings because Puppy knew Snail was very sad because now he wasn't going to have a lunch. But he apologized and made the situation better, the best he could. So. Remember, accidents happen all the time, but we just have to fix our accident. And there's different ways of fixing our accident. But in this situation, Puppy offered his lunch. So that made Snail feel better. So right beside me, I have a photo of two friends, James and Dara. So the two friends were out on the playground at recess. By looking at this photo, what do you think could have happened at recess? Yes, we can tell something happened because James seems upset and Dara seems a little concerned. You're right. So what happened was they were playing and on accident, Dara ran into James. She was playing and did not see him. So 
How do you think James is feeling right now? By looking at the photo of him, he's knelt down on the ground. And how do you think he feels? I want you guys to think about that for a second. Yeah, you're right. He looks upset. He looks sad, shocked, maybe hurt. Uh, totally multiple types of feelings he is feeling right now because Dara ran into him. Now, by looking at Dara, how do you think she feels? I want you guys to think about it for a couple seconds. How do you think Dara feels for running into James? Yeah, you're right. She feels concerned. She's worried about him because she didn't mean to hurt him. If he is hurt, she was playing and didn't see him and ran into him. So what do you think Dara is going to have to do to make things better? Because remember, was this on purpose or was it on accident? You're right. It was on accident. And when we do things on accident, we don't mean to do what we just did. So I want you guys to think about this for a little bit. How is Dara going to make the situation better? <clears throat> Go ahead and put your thinking caps on. I want you to think about that. You're right. First things first, she needs to ask James if he's okay. Did he hurt himself when she ran into him? Yes. After that, if James answered yes, he is hurt or no, he isn't, Dara will have to do what she needs to do to make him feel better. If he did get hurt, like scraped his hands or his knees, she can offer to take him to the nurse's office. But most important, she has to apologize for running into James. Yes, and how would she apologize to make him feel better? Go ahead and share. Yes, you're right. She could say something like, James, I am so sorry. I was playing. I was totally distracted and I did not see you and I ran into you. Are you okay? That is something that Dara could say to make James feel better. You're right. Because she didn't mean to run into him. She doesn't want James hurt or upset. She wants him to feel better. Of course she does because they're friends. And what she did was on accident. Good job, you guys. Now, since we don't have partners, I want you guys to think about a time where you did something on accident and you had to fix your mistake. I'm going to put my timer on and then you guys will be sharing with me when this happened. So get ready for my timer and I want you to think about a time you did something by accident. Ready? Start thinking. All right, guys, go ahead and share. I cannot wait to hear. Good job, you guys. I loved, no, I didn't love that you did something on accident, but I love to hear when you guys could recognize when you may have done something on accident that could have hurt someone's feelings or could have hurt someone physically and how you guys fix that incident by either apologizing or offering to help the person and make them feel better. Or if the person was hurt, you offered to make the situation better by either getting them a band-aid or an ice pack. You guys, I know that we all do things on accident, but if we can recognize that we did whatever we did on accident and we tried to make the situation better, that's the most important thing. Because remember, accidents aren't done on purpose. They're an accident. We don't mean to do it. But as long as we can fix our mistake and help someone else's feelings by having empathy for them and understanding how they might feel and fix that, that is most important 
Because remember, you guys are having empathy for others and you don't want others to feel sad or to be hurt. So you guys know what you guys have to do. And that makes Ms. Thompson so happy. I love knowing that you guys are learning about empathy for others. So this concludes another lesson. And I hope you guys were able to learn so many things about feelings and accidents. And your guys' homework is to remember, if you do something on accident, make sure you first apologize and try to fix the situation, okay? So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys again next week. Bye guys.